You'll first acquire the spirit ashes for the jellyfish in Limgrave, in Stormhill Shack. There's a woman with a red hood, called Roderica. She will give you spirit jellyfish ashes. Oh, I know. Can you take this little one along with you? The poor thing deserves someone braver than myself. And the spirits look rather fondly upon you. It'll be glad of your company, I think, the little un. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale Castle, tell them I love them. And that, despite my craven heart, I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough. I'm finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing, you know? After you progressed through the entire game and get to the mountaintops of the giants, make your way to the Stargazer's ruins. After you reach the mountaintops of the giants through the Grand Lift of Rold, you just have to follow the path really, just follow the way until you reach the Castle Sol uh, side of grace. From the Castle Sol side of grace, follow this path that I'm following in the gameplay to get to the Stargazer's ruins. You'll reach a bridge, cross it, and you'll find yourself at the Stargazer's Ruins. Summoning the jellyfish next to the other jellyfish at the Stargazer's Ruins will reward you with the Fancy Spin emote, which, fun fact, it is the emote that the Firekeeper would do in Dark Souls 3 if you would emote in front of her. Summoning the Spirit Ash in front of the other jellyfish will also unlock the seal down the stairs, which leads to a very good talisman. The item description looks awfully familiar, doesn't it? It kind of reminds me of Sorceress Selen's questline. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please check out my other videos, uh, my other questline guides, and uh, please stay tuned for more content, live streams, and other helpful stuff.